So here's the latest on Ripus. Change the exit server button to fit the new UI, going for something more unique and intimidating so that people don't accidentally click it anymore. That's been a thing. I've changed the password input screen to look cooler. Not that anyone would see the password screen all that often. Uh, it's obviously for passwording and it could also be used as like a, a captcha. Specifically, the idea was if you wanted to make sure everyone joining the server knew English, you could ask a question to confirm that. Uh, I've changed the border UI to better fit the new look. And I've been moving around tons of stuff to facilitate the the slightly very slightly lower border which which is annoying have to go readjusting things and um i fixed a, a minor bug that occurs when manager chan or assistant manager kun breaks the fourth wall to take the player's stars while i was fixing the height of that to go with a new border ui i uh, also noticed that the back of their hand the like sleeve or cuff that's supposed to be part of the main fourth wall breaking hand but goes behind the border it was still back with the background stuff and would get moved by the cinema cam effect I had to fix that so that it didn't move anymore. Uh, I went and changed the main hole buttons again. Now the um, the drop shadows on them have consistent logic and I removed the gradients from the text to make it look cleaner. I've redone the goals slash ranking slash server settings screen. It now blurs the background and swooshes in faster and fits in line with the new UI except for the server settings. I haven't changed that. I'm not sure what I should change that to. It's also got a little tutorial thing down here when you first open it up so that new players know where you have to click to access this stuff. Although it uh, continuous mode starts off on the screen, tournament mode doesn't so... Uh, there's been uh, changes to continuous modes goals. Previously, we had goals being constructed by basically we use a concept called risk, which is like one match equals one risk and one star is three. So previously, we had it set up so that there was like a batch of uh, like a hundred goals made at once and we spread out the risk so that not everyone had the same amount of risk that's how we varied up the goals now each goal has the same amount of risk based on whatever the survival percentage has been set to and we instead vary the goals internally by uh, moving around risk to the different goals and to help out with that internal variance now star goals can be as low as one previously it was the lowest amount was the starting stars so if there was three stars given out to each player goals always had to be three now it can be down to one and that risk can be moved over to kills and saves and whatnot uh i changed the dead player name color to red in like notes and messages and stuff so that it better fits the new ui and just um registers more as meaning dead Table splitting has been changed. Table splitting is a action in matches where you're able to escape from the match without the other person agreeing to end the match and it causes both players to be put onto new tables. Well, previously it gave you both blank tables. Now the splitter still gets an empty table, but the splitty will be dumped into a match if someone is already waiting for an opponent. Um, 